Silicon Valley entrepreneur and computer whiz Steve Kirsch is no stranger to tackling tall challenges with creative solutions. Fascinated with computers from a young age, he has been in the CS and engineering game for over 50 years. Over the course of his career, he has founded more than seven companies, including Propel Software, Mouse Systems Corporation, Frame Technology Corporation, and InfoSeq, all dedicated to improving computer software and tech. He's equally known for his philanthropic work across a wide variety of environmental, medical, local and planet safety causes, so prolific that Hillary Clinton presented him with a National Caring Award in 2003. These efforts took a personal turn when on August 11, 2007, Steve announced on his personal website that he'd been diagnosed with Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia, a rare blood cancer. He tackled what for others might have been a devastating blow with his characteristic gusto, working with world-renowned scientists to develop an experimental treatment. His openness and creativity paid off when, to Steve's surprise and delight, one such treatment worked. When COVID-19 struck earlier this year, Steve recognized both his disadvantages as an immunocompromised man and his opportunity to make a difference as a man of means. He had already seen the efficacy and the practicality of using pre-existing drugs and applying them toward other maladies, and so founded the COVID-19 Early Treatment Fund CETF, the only organization in the world focused on finding the most promising drugs and treatments that, when given sufficient, but the approach I had was to find the best scientists and fund them. We found a pre-existing drug that worked to keep my cancer at bay. So when this, COVID-19, came along, I approached it in the same way. The organization was founded to test preventative drugs in people suspected to be infected with COVID-19 via a patient clinical trials, which test existing antiviral drugs on patients as soon as they are infected. Steve's work with the SETF Advisory Board aims to vet grant proposals by scientists working to produce preventative COVID-19 treatments, saving hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of lives. I started looking for opportunities to apply my expertise in a field where it was needed, where other p. World leaders have promised nothing for outpatient trials, and the short-term way to attack a virus is to discover a drug or drugs that are already on the shelf today. The organization supports grantees through funding, improving study protocols, advertising trials through op-eds, newspaper and TV.